Ever feel like your brain has a live-in roommate you never invited? A grumpy, whispering voice always ready to point out everything wrong with the world, and especially with you? For many of us, this inner critic can feel like a villain, turning every small setback into a full-blown disaster. He knew this feeling well. His default setting had become expect the worst, then stress about it. If he spilled his coffee, it wasn't just a spill. It was proof his day was ruined, probably his life. Someone cut him off in traffic? See, the inner critic would whisper, everyone's out to get you. You're just not good enough. It was exhausting, this constant mental battle. This critical voice felt like a persistent villain, always there to sabotage any hint of peace. Who would choose to live with such a demanding roommate? He certainly didn't. His deepest desire wasn't to be someone perfectly cheerful all the time. That's often unrealistic. No, the longing was simpler. To quiet that critical voice, to feel lighter, more present. To simply enjoy life, rather than constantly bracing for its next challenge. It was a secret yearning, often buried under the villain's constant chatter. But quieting that villain was no easy feat. Every time he tried to think a positive thought, the critic would be there, armed with memories of past mistakes and fears of future failures. That's ridiculous, it would sneer. You can't change. Remember that embarrassing moment from years ago? You're stuck like this. The struggle was real. Years of old habits, the sheer weight of negativity, and the tricky truth that the brain literally gets better at pathways it uses most, making the villain's grip feel even tighter. It was like trying to escape a maze where the walls kept shifting. Then came the unexpected revelation. While simply browse, he stumbled upon a powerful idea. His brain wasn't fixed. It was adaptable, like soft clay or a grumpy old computer that could be reprogrammed. This concept, often called neuroplasticity, meant the brain could actually change its structure and function based on what we think and do. It was the ultimate loophole. The aha moment wasn't about fighting the villain directly, but realizing he could build new paths in his mind. If he'd spent years practicing negativity, he could start practicing positive thoughts. It was like discovering the villain wasn't a powerful sorcerer, just a really annoying, persistent parrot that could be ignored or even retrained. The outcome? The villainous inner critic still tries its old trick sometimes, but now he catches it. Nice try, old friend, but we're exploring new possibilities today. He started gently challenging those negative thoughts, finding small moments of gratitude, and shifting his focus to solutions. Slowly, his brain began to rewire. Life still had its challenges, but he found more joy, bounced back faster, and his inner world became a much calmer place. The villain hadn't disappeared entirely, but its power had faded. This isn't magic. It's simply powerful brain science. This story reminds us that while we might have an inner critic, we also have the power to challenge it and build new mental pathways. If you like this, share it and subscribe for more. Stay strong, keep pushing.